We are back for the crossover, Steiny and Guru <laughs> oh, Styles boy. in for Steiny. <laughs> Joined by our guys, yeah, Willard dudes. and JD. And Willard, Go ahead, man. You love know, we, the energy in the room right now. We today. had Mike Dunleavy Jr. I on. listen. I listen. And I got to ask I listen. you, how you feeling about the bet? I like, how you like me now? I like my robot medium. I go medium, and it's going to be very good on your dime. Um... But first of all, you're not supposed to go medium. You're supposed to go medium rare. But I like medium. And second of all, well, you like what you like, but you can also be wrong. <laughs> um, but uh, I did not take from that. You can't be any- wrong with how you like your meat. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Talk to us, Jay. Ask, ask like, a chef. On, sorry about that. Ask a chef. Well, yes, chef. Can. Gordon oh, Ramsay yeah, with Everyone exactly. knows yes. medium rare. The chef. Yeah, that's mine, John. The chef. Just trust me. Yeah. If you don't order it medium rare, the chef gave you the gas. Wow. Face. All right. Even with you that's get to eat it mean. how you want. Yeah. But the chef gave you the gas. But even phase. with medium, though, medium is like medium gas phase. Okay, right. if I'll you take order that. it medium well, they would like to kick you out. They, they <laughs> right. want your money, but they're offended. Yeah. Right. They're like, we, we, a... we worked hard on this meat, and and sure. you done messed it up. Sure. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> um, I didn't take from that his answer, and we should play it for everybody. But I didn't take from his answer that there's any more likelihood towards starting. Um, and, and and so people know the bet between you and I is whether or not Chris Paul starts on opening night. And I actually think the favorite is possibly going to be a no pay because if he starts because someone else is hurt, mm-hmm. we, we took that off the board. Sure, But I, I was struck by his answer when he sort of stated, look, Chris Paul has always played over 30 minutes a night wherever he's been. <sighs> and he's like, and there's nothing should change here. Mm-hmm. Was kind of the vibe yeah. I yeah. JD had what and I it was felt. just like yeah. the idea that he's going to be some sort of a bit player on this team right. or well, no, nope. you know, just hold Kaminga's hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope, yeah. nope. Like he's here to play. Yeah, he's here to be a big piece. JD, of this you got to say what you said. I mean, I'm I'm somewhere in between on that. Like to me, the best the, the way you get the most out of Chris Paul is. If he's not playing 30 plus minutes a game every night, and maybe he's not in the starting lineup, I mean, the right thing to do to me is you go to Chris Paul, like Steve Kerr went to Andre Godala back in the day and says, Look, this is the best thing for this team. You're going to be finishing games a lot of the time. You're going to be playing a lot. I mean, we can even, it doesn't have to be yeah. the third. We, all right, you're going to play your 30, mm-hmm. although I think probably 28 or so is probably about right if you want to maximize everything that he still has at this age. But, I mean, to me, you just look at the other players on this roster and that starting group, it it makes sense to me for him to come There's off the bench no and doubt. have that be I his primary that. role. Well, I yeah. echo that it, it, 100%. Can, can, I, can I just add this real quick, too? It's yeah. also because it's not about the uh, the size of the, the presence of the player. The ego. Well, no, to me, it's just the position. Because people will go, well, take out Looney. You then this tiny little lineup. We just talked yeah. about it. Like, like no, that can't he, happen. It, to me, if he's going to start, it means either Steph Clay or, or I guess Dude. maybe Andrew. No nah, man, comes off the floor. No. Like, that I'm would not, be placating to the, for I'm the wrong not, reasons for ego. I'm not doing if you that. Don't do that, Jay. Right, so we doing that. Yeah. We got the Jokic set. is yeah. going to have 18 yeah. points at the end of the quarter. No, no, that you know that's what I mean? size so matters. Yeah. I'm still in that. All right, John. Let's hear from what Mike Dunleavy Jr. had to say about it. I think the conversations have been, look, man, we're adding a hell of a player to the mix, and we've got five or six other really good players. Only five players can start. The, qu- the answer is we don't really know. Like we got to get to camp. He's got to get to camp. Chris, our players, and just see how this all works. The bottom line is that the guy's never played less than 30 minutes in his career. He's going to play a ton, as is Kavan, as is Draymond, as is Steph, and so on and so forth. So I guess people are going to make a big deal out of who's starting and who's not. My main thing is to put together a really good basketball team. I think we've done that, adding Chris Paul, whether he's starting, coming off the bench. As long as he's playing a lot, I think we'll be really good. Uh, Mike understands this, by the way. Oh, Um, he understands a lot. Well, no, so when he says, oh, I guess people are going to make a big deal about whether he starts. It's kind of like going, well, I guess people are going to make a big deal about who the Niners quarterback two is. Right. Yes, people are going to make a big deal, but it's not because of what's on its face. It's not whether or not Chris starts, it's what kind of vibe does he have in this room? Where does he fit yeah. in this no doubt, picture? Because this picture has already been taken, yeah. and, and you have massive, not just egos, the presence in the room of, of people like Steph Clay and Draymond and even 
Looney and Wiggins champions in this town. Yep. The presence is large, and the question I think Warrior fans have is, are you going to acquire Chris Paul, who we've rooted against our whole life, yes. and hand him the same that, level man. of presence mm-hmm. in this room as the other guys have earned? And that answer leans yes. Yep. No doubt and about that, it. to me, is what's potentially a little uncomfortable. And let me go, Dr. Yeah. Field. Yeah. I, just real quick, yeah. I, I don't even care about that. Okay. Like, I don't even care about <laughs> – yeah, like, no, like, I don't even really – I, gotta, yeah, like, I, gotta I don't care you. about well, – everybody hates Chris <laughs> yeah. Paul, and he <laughs> right. hasn't won squat, right. Right. and these other guys have got four, right. and, like, none of that matters to me. Yeah. But if he's – I mean, if, if, if Chris Paul has a problem – like if if Chris Paul really truly has a problem coming okay. off the bench, right. then this thing's already in trouble. And JD, on that point, Agreed. I was going Doctor Field. Like if you're doing it to placate okay. him, here we go. We got problems. And people, I'm not trying to be unfair. I'm just sharing with you what's in my cardiac muscle. That you coaching? If you're gonna <laughs> yes. take Mike at that word, yes. Jay. That it's leading towards you, you, there's a problem in your voice like that. You coaching was almost like I ain't coming off the bench or I don't want to. We'll see how it plays yeah. out. But you can say, oh, that was him being see? cute in Vegas. But you coaching and waiting on an answer leads me to believe, Jay. It's he's leading more towards well, what you're talking about. Like read between the lines, Alan. One of the reasons that uh, not just because I was born and raised here, but one of the reasons Oster I was City. so dying to get back to this market after working in uh, Southern California for 20 years. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> is, is But because, does that really give you drip in the no, bag? No, I don't know. Hey. But John County. It's because uh, I knew all along, I'm like, I know what makes uh, that city uh, tick deep. because I'm one of them. Uh, wow. So the, the question, for, the reason the you coaching right. mattered, and I bet on some level made Raymond Ritter slap an open-handed, like, in his face, you know, like, oh, God, is because the second you acquire Chris Paul, I think this fan base goes, oh, dude. If do that's you, how I win. Do you yeah. know how we tick? Oh, man. Do you, because we, we don't vibe with you. And so the thought was, upon arrival, is there any sort of, like, Chris Paul, are you going to, like, try to fit in? Right. Or are you going to keep being all of you? And in two words, upon his first <laughs> interview, he's like, I ain't changing one damn bit. That is yeah. what I, I am took not from here that, to man. fit in. I am so here to JD be JD might I'm here yep. to be Chris Paul. Yep. Well, I'll tell and you I'm this. Like, oh yeah. boy. Yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, you this. One. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I am much more confident about the bet simply because they're playing the Suns. If they weren't playing the Suns to start, no, that's interesting. Yeah, but you did, did you think of it to tailor the lineup to one game? Or tailor it to his vendetta against yeah, them. Right, like right. that's not Revenge like James. he can't be doing that either. Is Avery, is, is, Avery, like, like, is Avery Johnson coaching? Hey, well, who's I'm coaching? Just saying, you coaching? I'm, I'm, I'm like, look, I'm looking for. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm trying like, to grab. T, I'm trying to grab whatever I can grab here, right? And I, I well, feel more confident about them playing the Suns and Chris Paul starting than I don't. I'm okay. not saying it matters. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying I feel more confident because of that. That's it. So I, oh, yeah. I, I don't know because you can't have two guys out there, and I, and I know Steph has gotten. Much better defensively and much stronger, but you can't have two guys that people hunt on defense on the on the court. Hey, defense. book, 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 gonna cook. I cook, cannot cook wait, man. If they send I'm out, just scared about that matchup. If they send out, yeah. Chris Paul, Steph Curry, and Clay uh, Thompson that, 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 oh, man. on open, like I'm but, sorry against Denver. Like, yes, boy, and, like Andrew Wiggins needs to be yeah. on the floor. No doubt about I, Looney. I, I, right, yeah. it, it's Looney. Yeah. I mean, it unless there's Looney. an injury, it would be Looney. No, would be the player before, that would take it. It would be Looney. And, and honestly, yeah. when they've done that, they've subbed Looney in. Yeah. It's five at the minutes eight, later, eight seven I mean, minutes mark. That's the thing. I'm actually yeah. feeling good we about are, this now yeah. because if it is Looney. Okay, and Looney can handle it. Looney can he's, handle yes. it. He's the yeah. easy answer. I like Draymond. If but if you on, need him out there, but Draymond and DeAndre Ayton, I'll take Draymond uh, in that matchup. And then besides that, I don't know who they're. What? So they got Beal. He gonna be trying to cook oh Booker. He they don't got a lot of depth though. That's and you got steel, KD, I believe. Right? You got so well. You, they're not so they're not defending anybody on the on the perimeter no. either. So you'd have right. Wiggins on KD. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Wiggins on KD. You'd have to go at that point, Clay on Booker, and you know Clay's gonna at least have pride. I don't know how far the pride's gonna take him. Okay, so who who are Steph and Chris guarding? I don't know who, who's their who fifth, are they guarding? Who, who are the Suns fifth though? 
might be Okogi. I don't even know if the Suns have Steph, five players. I, 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 I think thought Steph the Suns were just playing that, four on that five. Is, man. Yeah. Steph will lock up Okogi and 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 Chris will guard and Chris will uh, Chris will figure it out. <laughs> you got him on the power forward. But here's the thing: you got him on the power forward. But, but here's the thing: Will all I need is CP3 to start. Listen, it I, 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 I have not, to be in there. Long. I'm not here to tell you I'm right. He I have, have no to be idea. In there long. I got no idea. But it like we know what we're talking about in regard to. If you're going to be a team player and do, take one for the team, Jay, Chris should have no and, problem coming off the beat. And here's the reality. It, it's October, so nobody's yeah. going to be guarding anybody anyway. Yeah. That's right. They're all going to be, going, right. they're all going to be going through the most. Well, I'll tell you what. I yeah. like that, JD. Because yeah. I'm going to give I you like guys that. credit for something that happened on your guys' show yesterday. That was Styles, I've been holding on to this. I didn't want to blow it. Okay. So I'm going to give them some love. But um, why I'm going to walk to the car, because I told you on Monday – Willard, I was disappointed in this Warriors culture from the sense of I thought it was perfect. It's not their fault. It's not anybody's fault. But I thought the culture took a hit when Dre talked about, you know, the lack of uh, mentoring and the connection between Mike stepped to the mic. I asked him about that, and he said not just with the young and the old, connection's been a big key. He said with the whole organization. And to me, I know, you know, come on, those are words, but that struck me like that's what I'm talking about. It ain't just, he, and he said old and young, it's everybody like this year we're on the same page because last year we were off not just on the court, a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So I'm confident. Mm. Okay, you're, you're if, listening if he's to telling you the truth. They're saying yeah. the right things. I mean, <laughs> well, to me, no, that's no, just ahead. saying the right things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Point. Go, go, go ahead. You're go listening ahead. to 957 The Game, KGMZ FM, and well. HC1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app. Twitch and YouTube powered by First NorCal Credit. Oh, oh you guys. Guys. Love the, but So what was it? And and he's right. Here's one thing that resentment. Well, and, it pops into my head. It's like. I think fans know Jordan Poole is gone and Chris Paul's here. There are a bunch of people who left. Bob Myers is one of them. Um, mm. you, you know what I mean? Jamal Malalela. Yeah, huh? Like there were a lot, and it goes on and on. You know, there there were a lot of people who left, and I'm not saying they all left like with yeah. their tail between their legs or they're slamming doors in the parking lot, but yes, yeah, something culturally broke down. Yeah, and I think we saw that at the beginning with the punch. If people but, took sides, but what was now? Everybody says it's fixed, right? What 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 happened to fix it? Because uh. they used Jordan Poole became a scapegoat. Okay, but but so so if Mike's going to tell you that it's not just young to old and the organization, well then Jordan leaving that uh, doesn't uh, cover enough bases. They, what that there has to be something bigger than that that yeah. needs to be. Fixed. But JD, well, the fact that he said that it, it, he didn't just say it was players; he said sure. the whole organization. So to me, I take that as he everybody had to clean up. Yeah, and, and look, I I think you could go up and down the roster, and you could find with a majority of the players something like Clay was his at Clay's mm -hmm. energy and attitude was garbage last year. Like it was, he mm -hmm. was he was angry, mm -hmm. he was defiant. He was he was mad at everything. You think all year? Like, you think all year? Yeah, I okay. think he was. I think even when he played well, he was pissed off. He just okay. held up four fingers when everyone and he good. took that back. But yeah, when, yeah. when he yeah. was playing well, it was like it was like the double bird to everybody that yep. because he hadn't played well the other five games, it was like. Hey, see, I am who I am who I who you don't think I am anymore. Yeah, well, you know what? I, well, and like, then he would go back and be terrible for and, three and, games. And so, a that's that's obviously not okay, and I it, it does feel like uh, he's trying to walk some of that back uh, and act yeah. differently now. But secondly, you know, sometimes I, I I look at that. It's almost like the conversation we had about Gabe Kapler yesterday. You look at someone and go, okay, I don't like that you snapped, but do I understand why you snapped? And I would pin that on Clay last year. If the whole year was one big snap, okay. I don't like that you snapped, but I get why you snapped. Like, just imagine the the mentality and the effort that's needed to go through getting that body back on its feet, the world constantly telling you you're dust yeah. while it's happening. Like, I can imagine, and we know this. We saw it sometimes. It got real emotional. Like, that went deep. Mm -hmm. That went really deep for Clay. And I think that's what we often saw last year was that emotion coming out. No doubt about it. And it came it, out man. as anger. The Charles and, Barkley you know, thing. Right. Like, it, it, And so, no, it's not an excuse. It's not okay because it derailed some things. But I get it. 
I get it. In that podcast, and, I, and I brought it up yeah, because it. You won the when you said how does it get fixed, yeah. but I brought it up because we've seen Clay yeah. try to change that energy. Yeah, I speaking think. of which, because you just so touched on that's it. That's a positive sign. No doubt. Draymond, and his energy was terrible. And the fact that he terrible. was on the podcast, have self-reflection, like I shouldn't have did that. I'm like, he's in a better place. That's a win. Yeah, that's a that's win. That's a win. Even that's something it, tangible that says he, maybe that, some things I'm like, Clay is it cool. He's, he's, that, he's in win. peace with it, and right, I, his game right and, now. And we know about Clay. Clay doesn't even like doing those okay. things. All right. So the, the, the mere fact that he was like, yes, let's go on some podcasts, right. tells you that he's trying to send out an, a new message. Okay. And so that's good. That's so good. the Johnsons were having steak dinner yesterday, hey. so I'm driving the same way to pick up the steaks mm -hmm. uh, and some shrimps. Uh, you can have that on the soda. Okay. And <laughs> I'm listening to you two, my comrades, friends, after the game ended, the Giants game, yes. with Kapler going off on the poor reporter. And I know they have Grammys, but if I could give a Bammy to my comrades here for JD's reaction and <laughs> yours, it, you two get the award. Congratulations. Huh. It was excellent radio, but I was, my side was hurting. Why did Gabe do that to the poor reporter? But this is where I'm going. He ran himself out in Philly because I don't think he played the game enough, but there was a lot of that what he did yesterday, and that was Gabe kind of letting off. That was his version to me, Willard. You tell me if you think I'm wrong, guys, of him flipping the spread because the, the reporter didn't deserve that. They asked you a, oh. a simple question, but if we start getting more of that and they lose six or seven, that ain't going to go well for Gabe. No, I listen. Because uh, then you were not fraudulent. The guy that I thought you were, calm, cool, now is getting to you when it ain't good. You you hit on a lot. You <laughs> hit on a lot correctly. I would encourage everybody to read Andy Bagley in The Athletic. He wrote uh, sort of almost like a play-by-play -play of what took place. <laughs> I and, can't wait to read it. And, and, and I think he struck the chord that I was trying to hit yesterday. Same thing I just said about Clay, which is like, no, 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 that that's not okay. I get why you're doing it, but that's not okay. He snapped, and you're right. It's hysterical to listen to Gabe snap because he sounds the exact same as he does when he's talking regular. Like, let me get this straight. I, I think I'm going to snap oh, now. I called um, JD, man. Yeah, like I, oh. it, that. That reporter asked a very clear, fair, and obvious. Quite frankly, a question yeah. that Gabe it should have layup. known Alan was coming. Went off, it was a layup. A yeah, question a that layup. he should have known was coming. Okay. Austin Slater's a great pinch hitter. He's been struggling a little bit lately, but his track record the last three years speaks for itself. That's Gabe. Yeah. Isn't it? Gabe, Gabe, yeah. Gabe and I lost get they're his... scuffling right well, now. Well, and right. Gabe, Gabe thought he was trying to be pinned into a spot where he's going to say something bad about so Elliot let me Ramos. Get this straight. And I think the yeah. rest is like, uh -oh. nobody, even, nobody even cares about that. Um, and yeah, they're cracking. Like, look at what's going on. They have not gotten a big hit man, in two months. Man. But I do okay, think, and they're yeah. about to face the Braves six of the next nine and games. Nine Pretty big hit on Sunday. Yeah. In the no, that, I you know, was going to okay, say that okay. the Bentley hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they essentially have gotten very, very few key hits in key spots in two months. And um, when you're somebody who handles all of those things, like my dad was this way. Tom, Tom, <laughs> he knew it. Like, and he'd even tell you later. He goes, look. If if you get me to the point where I feel like spanking you, oh, well, it's going down. You messed up because right. I don't get there. But when I get there, it's it's bad. And, but he and, was there because I believe the team is not handling their business, and he took it out on the reporter. That's what I didn't like about. Of course, that. okay, yeah. of course. Uh, like he's yeah, they're they are. It's when when you listen to the Giants talk. They'll they'll sound like they're never upset, and so I think for years that organization has battled people going, "Gosh, they got all these lifeless people with no personality and all." Yo, they like Brandon Crawford, a competitor, mm. like cares, big time. Doesn't look like it, I, and and that's what I think about uh, about Gabe. Like they pride themselves on handling everything just under control, right. calm, cool, collected. But no, they are about to snap. They yeah. are about they to snap. They got Atlanta, Allen, in 90-degree heat, ball flying. Yeah, and they have a good time out there. They have a good time out there. Acuna, right? I, my guy, Ozzy Albies. But I, I think no, they're stacked, man. They are. They're but stacked. I, and, and, right. and the fact that they're doing this and they are the best hitting team all while losing Freddie Freeman, I mean, that's great. I mean, that is just one of the most impressive parts of it. But I, I, I do think, though, 
and I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a Gabe Kapler apologist, even though I do think he gets a bit of a bad rap. This is the danger, or this is the fire that you play with when you don't have a big bopper, right? When you exceed expectations. At some point, you're going to regress to the mean, and now everybody's going to be looking. Everybody's going to forget. Willard was calling for it. Everybody's going to see guys coming in here. Right. Everybody's going to forget that you are playing better than expected and only focus wow. on who you are now, when in reality, I mean, Gabe ain't out there swinging the bat. What do you, what do you want him to do? Yeah, I think you're touching on something next level here. Uh, I was thinking about this this morning, and again, it was after reading the Baggerly piece when he said something about uh, the left-handed hitters who either don't hit left-handed pitching well or have forgotten how to. Mm. He wrote that, and I went, okay, hang on a second. This is the line the Giants are walking, and I, and I wonder if it's flipped in the wrong direction. The Giants have basically been telling free agents for years now, come here and we will put you in your best position. Mm -hmm. So what they did with Gosman. Like, Gosman, you need to throw your split finger. He's like, huh? Next thing you know, five years, $100 million. And that spreads to free agents. And people are like, oh, the Giants will put me in my best position to win. Mm. The problem is now, if you tell guys, hey, you're really good at this, I wonder if some of them are now dealing with, but that means I'm not any good at that. Like, I'm really good. Austin Slater, you are really good mm -hmm. at pinch hitting in the seventh inning when the left-hander's on the mound. Well, what happens when you get into a spot where he's got to hit a right-hander? Right. How, it's almost like what we do with little leaguers now when everything gets real specialized. When they're kids, the pitcher is the best hitter. Something happens between Little League and mm. Pro Ball where all of a sudden the pitchers look like Johnny Cueto right. and can't hit. So the Giants are both being told, this is what you're really good at, so just do that. And does that all kill their confidence with everything else that, that, that's out it, there to do? Right. That's just how they're built, though. Like That's, that's the whole Farhan plan. Like but that, but that's Michael Conforto was not a player in New York who was only allowed to hit right-handed pitching, for example. He's a starter. He's an everyday player. Yeah, that's true. And they so, identified the fact that they don't think he was very good at it or right. wasn't going to be very good at I, it. No, so it, you're saying that's what's works. got him stuck now. Well, I but, just think it works for I'm some, it, but like, not all. It works for some, but not all. Well, they're they're constantly going to be in this position where, you know, because a lot of it is pl they're playing the percentages. Mm -hmm. They want to they play the percentages, play the percentages, play Well, there's going to be years where... A bunch of the guys you bring in for these specified roles man, oh don't man. work out, right. and then it's and it's or, or don't work out for two months. That's what's happening right now. And it looks and it looks bad. But like this is, like I'm not, like the secret sauce, if you will, is is the, like the thing that makes them great when they are great is exactly the thing. Like I, I'm trying to think of the right way. To, like you don't, you can't just say, well, should they be empowering? This guy or that guy to hit. They, they don't give a rip about Austin Slater no, I, hitting right handed. I, 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 like, I know they don't. They care don't. about his development. I, that's not my point. Like, Austin Slater's my been point, told for three years he can't hit right handed. My, my point is not like, to suddenly tell a bunch mm. of players uh, who who have holes to to like they should they should go that direction. I just think this is a potential flaw on in, why they're in, all going south the at the same time. Because the flaw in the system is we are only going to put people in their best slot. But you're not always going to end up there. Like you pointed this out yesterday, J.D., Bruce Bochy schooled them over the weekend because they're like, we're going to put everybody. But he, the, he, this, well, it goes back only, to preference. Only because Gabe didn't have the guts to pinch it in the second inning with the bases loaded. But it would have but it would have burned him. Well, it probably would have burned him later. Not if the dude comes up and hits a triple. Okay, right. so they forget school, analytics. Is there any one of us four in this room, and I'm going old school, Waddy Herzog, Chuck Tanner, is there any one of us that would prefer the giant method on an everyday lineup to where the computer's involved or the Dodgers or the, uh, even the, the Padres? Dodgers do it too, to the where Dodgers you, are a yeah, computer they, model, I, too. I, the no, Dodgers Mookie told Bets, Jock Peterson he be, couldn't hit so, lefties his second year in the league. So yeah. the Giants, and they said bye-bye to him. But, but the Giants are pinned with a philosophy that is actually not this, theirs. Like it's too much of they this. Don't, this, but this isn't their philosophy. They're Ooh. not. 
The, the, the Giants do not think we should do all openers and all platoons. Mm. They are doing it because they have failed mm. to get mm. the players right, well, they want to get. That's a whole other wow. Yeah. Okay? Right. They, they, they want everyday players. All right. All right. They that's, want five that, starting that, I pitchers. I got nothing else to say. They have failed mm. to get the players they're mm. trying to get and, or and develop the, pl and the, players, the players they're trying to develop. And the starting pitchers they went and got yes. have been bust. Okay. Yes. Like and, this yeah. year wow. they were busts. Is they, they didn't start them out. They didn't start them out. Stripling bust. Yeah. Mania bust. Man, yeah. you know, Alex Woods turned into a bust. He had a good year a couple these years Clefani, ago. Like they yeah. did oh not. They wanted these guys to start, and all of them did. <laughs> and then they stunk. And so then they're like trying to do this, and then the guys start bucking because they're like, "Well, I'm a starter." And they're like, "Well, we saw you start. You're yeah, You're boy. terrible at it." And so that's Man. they're I, stuck yeah. in a spot they're where down. they're being labeled as something. Because they're doing it, I don't think they're doing it all by choice. Yeah. Alan, wow. Yeah. No, I think I think <laughs> the Dodgers do it, but the Dodgers have stars to also couple with the analytics. That's well, yeah, that's they, one yeah. thing. And then on top of that, we talk about the hidden gems. Unfortunately for the Giants, right now they're remaining hidden. Willard and Dibs, yep. two to six. We'll be listening. JD in for Dibs. Wow.